Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I don't get much sunlight. I think that's pretty obvious, considering I'm actually 74 years old and do not have a single wrinkle. That's not true. I'm actually 34. So, uh, maybe your computer does get sunlight. It shouldn't. You really don't want to get sunlight directly on the screen. But maybe there's sunlight in the room, coming into the room. Well, unless you uh, live in a place where the sun shines 24 hours a day, and that may happen in certain parts of the globe in certain times of the year, I'm guessing you're not. Uh, in which case, you need to be aware that the color on your screen is, is going to be seen by your eyes differently according to the light that's in the room. You need to calibrate to the light uh, in the room. Uh, and if you haven't done that, then you're missing out on the, the, the big picture, like the real picture, or at least the real color in the picture. I've recommended the Huey before, piece of hardware that works on both Windows and Mac OS X. Love it. Oh, it's like, if there's one thing you can, you can give to a geek and guarantee that they likely don't have it, it's the Huey. I love it for color calibration. Love it. Best piece of hardware on the planet. No doubt about it. Um, and if you don't have it, oh, I don't know if you've noticed here, uh, my, my screen color has changed slightly because I'm using a piece of software, free piece of software, called Flux or F-Lux, it's interesting, play on words there, Flux as in throughout the day, uh, the color will fluctuate according to the light settings that I configure uh, in the software or the light that happens to be in the room. Um, and then Lux, Latin for light. So it's, it's really interesting. Uh, Mike, the developer, was quite creative. Free program, Mac OS X or Windows. So right now, uh, by default, I have it set my location, my zip code, and I have the indoor lighting set as tungsten. So the software tweak is not going to be as accurate as hardware. Uh, so you can try it. It may work better for you. It may not. Here's the thing. When you first calibrate your screen, you're going to go, whoa, that's not right. Give your eyes time to adjust. You will soon see, whoa, that's like way better than what I had before. Like that's good color calibration. And I've only experienced that with the Huey. I don't really need F-Lux or Flux. I, I, I don't know how he wants me to say it. I'm just going to say Flux. We'll stick with Flux for now. Uh, I can twa uh, twange. I can change the uh, setting from tungsten to halogen, and then it adjusts. And see, now watch. Did you, can you see the color subtly changing? It's adjusting to halogen, uh, at least uh, according to the time in my, time, uh, in my uh, zip code, because uh, it's, it's the middle of the night. Uh, I can change to fluorescent. It adjusts accordingly. Fluorescent is the type of light I have in the room right now, and it, it does a fair job. I mean, fluorescent's pretty close uh, to the way I've, I've, I've calibrated. Still a little warm for my liking. Uh, then, of course, they have direct daylight, and that really overcompensates. Uh, but uh, if you want, uh, if you're not using something like this now, give this a shot. It's free, easy to use, uh, works throughout the day, so as the light changes in your room, uh, the color on the screen is going to stay truer uh, to the color that you should see. This is what I am, uh, you know, kind of, uh, I'm going to quit this here and you're going to see the screen likely change. And it did. Well, at least I could perceive that it changed here. This is much more uh, natural, at least according to my color calibration, which is closer to the light in the room. Um, some people say, oh, the color in that video is way off. Uh, no, it's not. Uh, in fact, um, yeah, if they haven't color calibrated at all, uh, which is likely the case, I just don't listen to them because they don't know what they're talking about. They've calibrated, uh, you, you know, it to maybe by by eye, but your eye can play tricks on you. Like I said, when you color calibrate for the first time, uh, you got to give your eyes times to adjust because you look at it and you say, "That's not what I'm used to," but then the you know the the more you you look, you're like, "Wow, that that well, I didn't realize my settings were that far off." And then you toggle back to the old settings like, whoa, 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 that's bad. They give your eyes time to adjust. As I said before, uh, try the Huey. If, you, if, you've, if it's in your budget, it's like what, like 100 bucks? Trust me, buy that for a geek. Uh, buy that for yourself. Best piece of hardware you could buy. Guaranteed. Why? Because you've got a screen. Wouldn't you rather see the color as it should be on the screen, according to the light in the room? Just trust me on this. You spend so much money on everything else. What good is a $500 video card if your colors are off? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You like watching video? Make sure your colors are dead on.
You like watching videos? Spend hundred dollars. Serious. If you got the money, do it. If not, put it on your gift list. And if you don't have that much money, eh, try Flux. It's free. Thank you, Mike, uh, for letting me know that you uh, created this. Uh, the name of the website is Stereopsis.com, if I didn't mention that. Stereopsis.com. Uh, it's Stereo, P-S-I-S, -S, or Stereopsis.com. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will help you see the web the way it was intended. Here's the thing. You know, I get a lot of emails. I get a lot of, uh, you know, correspondence. And, and I get a lot of idiots who think that it's okay to type in all caps. Unfortunately, my eyes have adjusted to not being able to read anything that comes in all caps. I can't. I, I physically cannot. Like, I, I'm blind to it. So if you're going to email me or communicate with me, you just don't use all caps. It's just I can't read it. I can't see it. My email address, by the way, chris at perillo.com. Of course, you're welcome to illuminate the rest of us if, with your musings. Uh, post a, a blog uh, entry or a forum post or you know, upload photos, videos, whatever. Geeks.perillo.com. You're also welcome to join the rest of us in the chat room, uh, which is open uh, all the time. And uh, we tolerate people who can write well. Uh, everybody else, uh, you might want to work on your communication skills. Just just a bit and your maturity level just a bit more i'm just saying generally speaking we have a good time no matter what time it is and and, and by the way my ticks clock say that it's 1 115 114 in the morning yeah am still up still geeking out this is what we enjoy doing maybe you do too feel free to join us we're waiting for you. What are you waiting for? We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.